seeing advice on all your guys' Spotify wrapped is making me want to like cry. I'm home alone! Ow! Morning. He stands here every morning until I move. Ash is a needy dog. Come on. Top, like it's an old book but it's just from this little girl she's shedding so bad right now you guys like i don't know if you could see this hoodie i literally put it on 10 minutes ago and it looks like i've been sitting in it for years good morning happy vlogmas day two wow it's day two already that's crazy i know that sounds silly but like that's actually crazy to me today let's talk about today i kind of have a lot of stuff to do it's nine o'clock right now i definitely slept in i think i was telling you guys this yesterday but i went to disneyland this past weekend and when i tell you it feels like i'm recovering from like a three-day festival i'm not exaggerating i did not you know i didn't drink i didn't do any like there's no reason i should feel so metaphorically hung over from disneyland but i do we went on sunday and i'm like still so so tired from it. What I think it is, is all the food I ate. Um, I'm such like a product of my diet. I feel every single thing I put into my body, good or bad. Obviously it's Disneyland, so we ate sh food and by food it was so good but so bad for you whatever and i just felt really like sluggish and whatnot so this is definitely a late start for me it's 9 6 a.m i gotta put like 8 30 i like to get up a little bit earlier than that but that's okay you have a booger moon that is so gross ew but yes today checking some emails checking on my vlog that i posted yesterday at 11 o'clock i'm gonna head down to melrose which is like west hollywood area and Love Shack Fancy is having a gifting suite and I am so excited. I love Love Shack Fancy. I've I've never been to like a gifting suite. I've never I never even knew they like worked with creators. Um I'm just a fan of my own. I've bought you know a few of their pieces and whatnot but um my manager hit me up and she's like yo i know you love them like they're happy hi Bash. good morning oh good morning every morning they do this good morning everyone okay let me get dog hair oh link if you don't know what love shack fancy is not sponsored or anything by the way it is like the cutest most like cottage core aesthetic brand sorry she's hitting the table and it's hitting your camera it's honestly an aesthetic i never thought i'd be into but when you see their pieces it's it's just like how could you not be obsessed with them they're so so cute it's right next to my pilates studio so i kind of want to go to pilates right after we'll see if we have time or how long the gifting suite takes and then tonight at 7 p.m so a little bit later i'm actually gonna be a guest on unfiltered zane and heath's podcast which i'm super excited about he hit me up he's like you want to come on i was like sure so i'll probably take you guys along with that i don't know how much of it i could vlog obviously because it's for the episode and whatnot but other than that we're just freaking vibing i'm gonna get some of this stuff done and and I will check in with you guys when I'm going to the gifting suite. Okay, I am gonna be so late to this gifting suite. I need to get in the shower, but my friend Casey over at Spotify slash Anchor for podcasts I was kind of telling you guys yesterday. She just sent me and Alex our Spotify wrapped for advice, like for advice as its own. And it says, your shows made some new friends in new places. You got your first streams in 14 new countries. Trinidad, Tobago, Kenya, Barbados, Nigeria, and Egypt. That's crazy, you guys. Seeing advice on all your guys' Spotify wrapped is making me want to, like, cry. Oh, my God. And it's first week listening peaked in Australia on Tuesday. Hell yeah. Australia! Yeah! Next up was the United Kingdom. Ultimately, your podcast is played in 81 countries. Your voice travels so far. 81 countries i'm gonna cry you released 2340 minutes of content across 40 episodes please remember to drink water 
This is so cute. 102 countries total. This is crazy, you guys. Thank you so much to all of you who listen to Advice. Like this Spotify wrapped is actually really cool. It's such a cool way to kind of zoom out and really, I mean, it's called wrapped, wrap it up in a bow, see it all in kind of one completed thought. And it's the coolest thing to me. I never once thought this would happen. This was never even our intention. Um, I feel like you hear that a lot with people, but like dead ass, we started advice during quarantine is just like a, something to do because we were so bored and it's our favorite thing on the planet now. I wish Alex was sitting here with me to, to say it, but we're, we're texting about it too. She's in Cancun, but this is just so cool. I, I actually have no words. I also get really uncomfortable when like I'm complimented or like things that are good make me uncomfortable. So it's very hard for me to be expressing my gratitude, but trust me, my heart is filled with it. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I would call my mom. Okay, I have no idea how I just got ready in time. I have 20 minutes till I have to leave and all I have to do is get dressed. Is it corny to wear Love Shack Fancy to a Love Shack Fancy gifting suite? Or is it cute to do that? I don't know, all I have from Love Shack Fancy is this, I me show you. This two piece set, you guys, it's so cute. Also, I'm not naked, I have a towel on. It's like a little wool set, very Blair Waldorf. So cute. And it's like a little crop jacket with it. So cute. I haven't wore it, worn it yet. I was gonna wear it for something and then I didn't end up wearing it. So now I just kind of own it, but I'm not mad. As I've said multiple times, I'm going to Europe at the end of this month. So I feel like this would be cute with some like thick tights and like boots and like even another jacket over it. It'll be very cute for London and whatnot and just cute in general. I'm not mad that I own it, but I haven't worn it. So I'm like, ah. but I feel, I feel like it's weird to wear it. I feel like it's like teacher's pet energy if I wear it to the event. <laughs> okay, this is the final look. The shirt is from Zara. It's just like, it's actually really long, but I tied it and cheated it a little bit. I feel like it's light enough that like I don't need a jacket, but it's not heavy enough to where I'm gonna be hot. And then these jeans are from Urban. And then my white urban boots that I have literally had for years. These are so tore up, you guys, but I'm obsessed with them. I went to a place to see if like, to get a quote on if they upholstered them. Cause I'm so obsessed with the cut, the fit. They're so comfortable. But the guy was like, uh, they're kind of too cheap to like rehabilitate. So it would just be like a different boot at that point. But I love it. I think white boots are such like an essential part of a wardrobe. I feel like white boots are the white sneaker meaning like goes with everything, like timeless and comfortable. Some of these. Oh, that smells so good. I'm almost out. I got this February 28th, 2021. It's pretty good, a year. It's expensive, but it's like so worth it. I feel like some perfumes don't stay on my skin and they just like are cheapy and they just smell good when they're really concentrated, but then like, when they air out, they kind of just disappear. Lalabo, I know it's like a basic, basic scent, but it's good quality. It's so good. All right, I'm pulling up. Five minutes late. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think it's something where it's like you had to be there right on time. But when I tell somebody I'm gonna be somewhere at a certain time and I'm late, it's like I'm mad at myself. You know what I mean? Ew. Gross. Also, my hair is still kind of wet. I'm a hot mess. And I realized that I'm, I'm vlogging and I'm not with anybody, so it's gonna be weird to vlog alone in front of people. Weird, you guys. I don't know how much I'm gonna even be able to vlog without crippling insider. Anyway, about to pull up. Okay, so we're gonna play a little game. A game of, um, let's see if Kristen gets a parking ticket. Cause I'm purposely parking in a spot where I technically cannot be parking. It's permit only. They're filming on the street where there's parking where I won't get a ticket and I just don't feel like walking too far because I'm already walking like kind of a lot right now. So there's that. I did it. And that wasn't that bad, being alone and vlogging. Definitely more of a little montage though. I couldn't talk to you guys because there was music and I don't want to get copywritten. But the stuff I just got is so, so cute. I'm obsessed with Love Shack Fancy. Off the bat, you would think it's not really my style, but like I feel like if you can kind of like 
edge up a really girly piece. There's something really cool about that. First of all, I got this giant tote. Literally Link and Bash can fit in here. So cute, so good for like travel and overnight stuff. Also no ticket on the car, so that's good. But now I'm going to head down the street to actually meet Kaya for a sec. Um, if you watch the podcast, you guys know who Kaya is. She's been on the podcast, but Kaya is just one of my best friends. She is an artist and she's at rehearsal right now because she has a music video shoot. I'll show you guys some of her rehearsal and you guys can meet her if you don't know who she is. The point of it is because I need to go get my house key from her because she watched the dogs while I was at Disneyland this weekend, but I also want to see her. I haven't seen her in a hot minute. Welcome me. <laughs> this is Kaya. That's this Kaya. Is Kaya. One time. And That's then... definitely me. This is Kaya for sure. <laughs> so pissed we played that one because she's moving to New York in six months and I'm so mad she's about so it. Mad. And of course that's the song we start Which with. Perfect. Like, just romanticizing <laughs> it for you. I don't know how good the audio was because it was obviously kind of loud in there and I don't know how much my camera picked up, but she's so fucking good. I love watching Kaya perform. She gets so into it and it's like she's such a passionate singer i mean she wasn't even fully performing there that was just rehearsal but she had a show a few months back and i was literally like this is like a side of my friend that i haven't seen she's so incredible kaya stewart is her full name please go listen to all of her shit on spotify everywhere she's absolutely incredible and um i'm really excited for this music video she's doing i mean i don't want to give it all away but this incredible creative of her music videos that i think is going to just display so much of her creativity beyond her musical side. I think it's it's gonna be such a cool thing, so keep your eye out for that. I am heading home now. I am fucking starving and I need to get a few, thing done, few things done. But for the most part, I guess I'm just like hanging out until a little bit later when I go podcast for um, Unfiltered. Okay, I'm waiting outside of Tender Greens because I'm gonna pick up an order. I was gonna deliver it, but then I was like, I'm already out. So I thought I'll show you what I got from Love Shack Fancy. This tote, you guys, is huge. Um, I got these pants. Again, you saw in the footage, they fit so well, but they're like corduroy, cute little floral, perfect like denim blue, dusty blue print or color. And then this dress is going to be like, I want to wear this on New Year's. It's so beautiful and insane quality and it has shoulder pads. Look at that and look at the back. So cute. I was a little nervous it was gonna be kind of short and it definitely is a short dress, but like it falls, it's not tight. So I don't think it'll, like I know it won't ride up. Cause I feel like when stuff's tight, like when I was in Vegas and I was wearing tight dresses because like I felt like I didn't know what else to wear in Vegas, but I hate tight dresses on me. My shit was riding up so bad, but this falls really nicely and it doesn't like hug you too much. It's comfortable too. It becomes like the oil slick color in the inside. So cute. Also, the girl at the front, she was like, you came in here a few months ago and got a little, the, she described the set that I showed you guys earlier. And I was like, you remember me? And she's like, yeah, I remember you. How are you? I was like, I'm good, how are you? It's the best feeling when someone remembers you. Okay, I think they f***ed up. You see all that spice? That shit's spicy. Oh my God, like I think they were like pouring it on and like the cap fell off. That, look how much spice that is. Oh my God, it's good though. Really good flavor. I got the Pacific Bowl with Salmon and a side of seasoned veggies. Just to give you guys insight on how big this toad is, there's my phone and that's a plus. Huge. So pretty. Okay, I'm about to leave to go podcast and I think I'm gonna wear it. Cool, huh? I got this shirt off Etsy. I will try and remember the name of the shop and let you guys know and link it down below. I originally bought it for Disneyland and I was like, hold on, this is not appropriate for Disneyland. And then these are from Urban. So Leanna's leaving right now and you guys won't see her till Vlogmas day like freaking seven, day eight, I don't know. But now I've house myself for the next like few days and I'm really, really sad. Hey, you're not by yourself. I gotta make my boys, I'm a girl. 
Okay, it's only like 6.30 right now, but I'm gonna stop at Starbucks on the way. Probably gonna leave you guys in the car. I don't imagine I'd really be able to vlog much of this, but um, I need to get something, I need to get food on the way. I'm so hungry. I'm at that weird point of my day where like I ate too early. So now if I fully ate, it's like too early of a dinner to where I'll be hungry again, like right before bed. I always do this to myself. So I'm gonna get a little snacky poo. I will catch up with you guys when I get home and probably make a full other dinner anyway because i just saw my hello fresh box arrive so probably gonna devour that i'm home link stop itching i'm home i'm home also i got a little package let's see what it is i got a package from siate london i'm probably butchering that oh hi link it's makeup setting spray hella eye makeup this is a palette oh cute packaging look at that Ooh, nice. Thanks, Siate. I feel like I'm saying it so wrong. The podcast went so much longer than I thought. We were recording for like two hours, which is absolutely insane for a podcast, but it went really well. That was a lot of fun. I had never seen their set in person. It looks so good. I'm so proud of them. I also got a bag of Cremota coffee. So not just saying this, you guys, Cremota coffee is actually so f***ing good. When they launched last year, they brought over, I think it was during Vlogmas actually, but they brought over a little like PR box of it. Sorry, it was rude. And we went through it in like literally two weeks and it was so much coffee it's so good so i got a box or i got a, a new bag of it i'm home alone ah, i can't even enjoy this christmas decor two of the three aren't even here right now <laughs> it looks so stupid this tree is so stupid i don't know how these next few days of vlogmas are gonna be when nobody's in the house it's just gonna be very very boring vlogs of just me talking in circles but i think tomorrow i'm gonna hang out with kaya so you guys can have some kaya action that sounds weird you know what i mean also i got my hello fresh box this shit looks so good shrimp and chorizo paella roasted garlic and zucchini flatbread their flatbreads always hit and then this looks so good thai ginger curry with creamy coconut veggies peanuts and lime rice oh puppies come here guys ow oh i just scratched my nose here you go ramen for dinner and i don't feel good now oh gosh i feel so sluggish ever since disneyland i need to like eat healthy again i've been eating so bad you guys <laughs> ever since thanksgiving i've been eating like shit. Ugh. oh my god this has been almost a minute of me yawning you know what no this is what i'm gonna do right now and you guys are gonna hold me accountable i'm going to book pilates for tomorrow because why wouldn't i I have nothing to do in the morning. There's no excuse. This is what go I go through every single night. Boom. You successfully reserved your spot. All right, I'm gonna get my ass up in the morning and go. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel bad. I feel like the vlog today wasn't that interesting and it was only Vlogmas Day 2, but majority of the day I was just on my computer before I went and podcasted and I didn't even get to vlog any of the podcasts. So I feel like a lot of today was just me telling you what I'm doing rather than showing you. So I'm sorry. What should I do on days like that? I feel like it's kind of like an inevitable thing to run into when you daily vlog is like some days are just gonna not be interesting at all. Do I just cut the content shorter or do you... What do I do? You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm gonna leave you there. Um, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow vlog. Holy f***, I guess I'll be hiding! I don't know if you could tell, but look how foggy it is outside. Spooky! All right, good night. Bye.